the Arctic is the leading edge of climate change, our leading indicator of what the entire planet faces. Climate change is no longer some far off problem. It is happening here. It is happening now. On the edge of the continent, flanked by the tundra and the Arctic Ocean, lies the northernmost city in the country, Barrow, Alaska, an American city 330 miles above the Arctic Circle and at the epicenter of climate change. The ice thickness has changed dramatically throughout the years. We've noticed that the ice is getting thinner and thinner every year, and that late into the fall, sometimes all the way into winter, we'll still have open water in Barrow. We never used to have that. It's all melting, it's changing quick, and we have no choice but to adapt. The ice that grips the coast of Barrow every year has sustained the people of Barrow for millennia. Long before the city ever existed, hunters and their families traveled out across the ice with boats and harpoons waiting for the annual migration of the bowhead whale. Today, that tradition continues. Whaling crews and their families gathering in makeshift camps along the edge of the Arctic Ocean, rowing out across the freezing water, searching for whales. The community considers whale meat a vital staple because any food that can't be hunted locally has to be flown in, making it expensive. For subsistence hunters like Carl Nyakic, the sea ice literally supports his family. And it's melting. The ice thickness is getting thinner and thinner. All this ice you're standing on is probably one to two year old ice. When back then it should be at least maybe 10 to 20 year old ice. We're always trying to figure out how, where are we gonna pull up a whale if we catch a whale? Because the ice nowadays can barely support anything anymore. And the sea ice isn't just thinning, it's shrinking. 20, 25 years ago, you would travel at least 10, 10 to 20 miles out on the sea ice to reach the open water. And that's where we used to hunt bowhead whales all the time. Now, we, we barely come out a mile now. One of the reasons the sea ice is disappearing around Barrow can be detected in the air over Barrow. Just inland from the whaling camps themselves, the NOAA Observatory measures levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The atmosphere doesn't know any boundaries. Some of the pollutants that we emit have a long lifetime and may end up reaching faraway places like, like Barrow. Gabby Petron is one of the scientists studying the air samples collected in Barrow. And what the data reveals is terrifying. We are now experiencing the most abrupt change in CO2 in the Earth's history. How fast we are changing the abundance of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is unprecedented. It's really um, something that has not been seen in the natural world uh, ever before. What is happening in Barrow is happening around the globe, and it's happening fast. So the rate of increase of CO2 at the moment is higher than it has ever been, and also higher than it has ever been in the last 800,000 years. The rate of increase is the highest, and also the level is the highest ever. According to NOAA chief scientist Peter Tons, the unprecedented increase in carbon dioxide is heating the Earth and having a massive effect on the Arctic. In the Arctic, the warming is stronger than anywhere else, which contributes to the disappearance of drifting sea ice. So the sea ice coverage is less and the ice is thinner, which has consequences for everything. In Barrow, those consequences are immediate and unavoidable. Climate change is a big topic across the world, and uh, we are right on the edge of it. We're seeing our waters, temperatures warming slightly, seeing less ice in our oceans, thick, thinner ice. We're seeing coastal erosion as a result of not as much ice being a buffer for uh, wave action. I had a cabin that I built a thousand feet from the edge of the ocean and in less than 10 years it was 20 feet from the ocean 
and I've moved it a mile away and now it's only three quarters of a mile away from the ocean. So we have a serious erosion problem up here. Mayor Mike Ahmet has lived in Barrow for over 40 years. He wants to move the entire city inland to save it from the effects of climate change. If there were enough monies available, my thought would be to move the town. But it's not that simple. Barrow has a billion dollars worth of infrastructure, houses, schools, a heated underground tunnel that keeps pipes and sewer lines from freezing, all of which makes moving prohibitively expensive. And our coastal communities are tied to the ocean, so in the past they could move very easily because you just build a new house. But we've got buried infrastructure in all of our communities now, and there's no easy fix now. For the nearly 5,000 people who call Barrow home and who rely on the environment to feed their families, the reality of a rapidly shifting landscape is inescapable. It was all winter two days ago, but now it's summer. Where did spring go? <laughs> and that's what's happening more and more up here. Our spring is getting shorter. Our summers are getting longer. Our winters are getting shorter and warmer. This year was a warm winter. We're changing, we're changing fast up here. And we have no choice but to live with it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.